Hey everyone, the last video I did regarding installs was version 4. I figured I'd update this with a version 6 how-to for the uh, new hybrid version 6 that Crackman made. So, without further ado, first thing you want to do is make sure that your device, plug it into your PC via the USB port, back it up using the desktop manager, and back up third-party apps using the desktop manager as well. Threads are for that are in the help section of the BlackberryOS.com. Um, if you prefer, you can wipe your device. Uh, not a necessary, um, not a necessary process, but you can do it if you feel more comfortable that way. Um, after that, you want to go into Start and Control Panel, and looking here see I have my desktop software I'm using XP so it may be a little bit different if you're using Vista and I have device software this is what I currently have installed on my phone I'm sorry installed on my PC if I click here it says right here that I have 148 installed you can pretty much choose any of the most current versions I've heard 148 uh, works decent and 132 is also another one that Will, will work uh, properly as well. Uh, if you have any other BlackBerry device software installed in your control panel, you want to just remove that by using the remove button and install the proper operating system onto your PC. We're not on the phone yet. Uh, I downloaded Crackman version 6 as you can see here, so I'm going to start that installation process because I already have the 148 installed onto my PC but you do need the operating system for the phone installed to your PC first and then run this hybrid it's going to tell you welcome to the BB Crackman version 6 hybrid you're going to click next you're going to choose the browse function next to the address bar here to choose the uh, path of where you're going to install this to which directory so I'm going to choose C program files common files research in motion shared loader files and as you can see here, see here the only thing listed is 148 I'm going to just single click and select or highlight 148 and choose OK. So now the path is in here correctly. I'm going to choose Next. It's giving you a warning this program will be installing version 6 into the, f uh, the um, path that I just chose 470148 platform 181 as long as that's what it says or whatever operating system that you choose is correct then you click start. This will take a couple minutes. Okay, that took about 30 seconds. I just click next and then exit. So now this hybrid file has been installed into the proper folder for me to start the install process to the device. If you go into C, program files, common files, Research in Motion and App Loader. Scroll down, make sure that your vendor file is not there, that it has been deleted, which in my case it has been. So as long as the vendor file has been deleted, then all you need to do next is in that same folder, click, double click on the loader exe it looks like a little blackberry phone is an icon start that install process it says welcome to the application loader wizard I'm gonna click next it's gonna show your pin make sure that it does and it's gonna go through the process of configuring it okay that took about a minute next screen that comes up it's going to ask you the version check system applications that are currently installed on the device are newer than those available with the 
this version of the BlackBerry desktop software. You will get the screen if you did not wipe your, your device, which I did not. You have two choices. It's going to say recommended on the first choice. You're going to choose the second choice because the files out of that hybrid file, when it installed it into the OS that you had already installed on your PC, they are older files. So choose the second choice and click next next screen if you have done a backup of your entire system your entire um, device and third-party apps there's no need to check anything the only thing that I like to check off just to be safe is the Blackberry application center attachment service Blackberry maps Blackberry messenger and whatever else you like um, you're going to get it off your backup anyway, especially all of this stuff here at the bottom, all your third-party apps, themes, whatever. Um, if you choose to, to choose them, check them, that's fine. If not, not a big deal. Um, I'm just going to uncheck these for now. So I'm going to click Next, and that's going to bring me to where I can either automatically back up the device data before loading the device, which is recommended, including messages in the backup and restore operation or do not automatically back up. If you choose this one, it will get rid of everything that is on your your BlackBerry originally. But if you have the backups, you will get it all back. I'm just going to leave it as the recommended on this one and choose next. It tells you what it's going to do now and you click finish. This could take anywhere from five to five minutes to 30 okay so that took about 10 minutes for me it says loading operation was successful so I'm going to click close so now you just have to wait for your um, phone to boot back up once it's fully up go through the uh, setup process that it always brings you through Continue through that. Check your uh, options about to make sure that you are running the the uh, correct version. Uh, one thing you should do right away is send your service books. If you log into your um, BIS account here, or you can do it through the phone by going to the uh, options, advanced options, uh, host routing table, and then the BlackBerry key and register device. Oh, that's the other way. If you want to do it by the computer, you can go right here and click on service books and then send service books. And it'll say service books were successfully sent. You should get get that email on your uh, device. Um, for me this time, I noticed the browser was there, but it just uh, couldn't connect. I sent the service books. I was all set to go. Um, so that should be the gist of it all. Um, do a battery pull. Uh, I know many people recommend doing three battery pulls, 60 seconds in between each one, letting it completely load up to the uh, home screen again is uh, what many recommend. So you can do that as well. And uh, as always, any questions on this, just leave it in the thread. Thanks and enjoy.